back to my channel and after a lot of requests for some of my recipes on um, like my Facebook page and Instagram that I share, I thought I would finally give this um, cooking channel a try. And so I'm gonna be calling this little segment Chell's Bell's Kitchen and just gonna share some of my favorite recipes with y'all. So let's get started. Um, today, what I'm gonna be making is a chickpea pasta and tuna salad. And what I love about any kind of salad, whether it's tuna salad, chicken salad, chickpea salad, it's so easy, it's healthy, and you can literally just throw anything you want in there, whatever you have in the fridge. So I actually found these chickpea rotini noodles and they are made from chickpeas. That's it, that is the only ingredient, so super healthy. So. That's what we're gonna be working with today. Um, I don't know yet if I'm gonna do one or two cans of tuna, but this is um, yellowfin ahi tuna, no additional ingredients. All it is is tuna um, and actually a little bit of sea salt. So um, we're gonna do that. And for my salad today, this is what I had in the fridge, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna chop up some celery, green onion, apple, onions, pickles, carrots, and this is a homemade mayonnaise that I've made a while back. And to make homemade mayo, um, all it is is egg, olive oil, um, lemon juice, and I think I did a little bit of, um, of vinegar, if I remember. I'll have to maybe go back and do a separate video on that recipe, but this is homemade mayo. So um, I've got some water about to boil. I'm going to cook my noodles and then just throw everything together. <laughs> She's always waiting on food. Always save your vegetable scraps for your compost pile. Another quick tip, so if you save the ends of your green onions and put them in water, they will actually start to regrow. You can see I had some that are already starting to grow, and once they sprout a little bit, you can replant those and grow your own onions. Got our pickles, carrots, apple. I love apple and salad, by the way. Green onions, red onions, and celery. My pasta's done cooking, so now I'm just gonna assemble it all together with my tuna and homemade mayo. I 
decided this made a pretty big bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and do two cans of tuna no need to drain it because there's not any oil or water added so I'm just gonna dump that in mix that all up dump the other one in and then add some mayo this stuff looks like cat food at first it looks pretty gross but I promise it's gonna be so delicious I underestimated how big or how much pasta this made so I'm gonna go ahead and add one to two more cans of tuna um, you can add however much you like if you want more pasta and veggies or if you want more tuna um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add at least one or two more in there I like to chill my pasta salad before I add the mayonnaise because um, otherwise your noodles may get a little soggy so let that chill for a bit and then we'll come back and add the mayonnaise in there and stir it up and your salad will be ready Okay, we got our salad chilled. Now I'm gonna add in some mayo and stir it up. recipe on Chelsea Bell's Kitchen. I'm going to eat my pasta salad, but what I love about this, it's super hearty, um, very filling, but also extremely healthy. So uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.